Today, August 14th, is observed internationally as a day to remember the victims of Japan's wartime sexual slavery. Various events were held in Seoul. One in particular involved statues dedicated to the victims. Oh Jung-hee shows us how it reached out to more people to raise awareness of the issue. On August 14, 1991, a Korean victim of Japan's wartime sexual enslavement, Kim ak sun testified publicly about her experiences becoming the very first victim to do so. In 2012, that day was designated as the International Memorial Day for the Comfort Woman, and the South Korean government is also considering having the day as a memorial day for the victims. Remembering the day and the victims, statues of the same size and shape as the Comfort Woman statue in front of the Japanese embassy were created and installed inside some of Seoul's buses. The statues have been placed inside five of Seoul's number 151 buses, which travel between Seoul's northern Gangbuk-gu district and southern Dongjak-gu district. I created this one hoping the victims could overcome their painful memories and find happiness by traveling around our beautiful country, which has regained its freedom. The statue is a special passenger for ordinary citizens hopping into the bus as usual, and one that reminds them once again of a hurtful part of Korea's history. Having the Comfort Women statue here gives us a good chance to think about the painful past victims had to go through. It touches our hearts. Meanwhile, in downtown Seoul, hundreds of small, palm-sized Comfort Women statues filled up a corner at Cheonggye Plaza. There are 500 of these statues. That's 239 for the victims of Japan's wartime sexual slavery in South Korea, plus the estimated number of such victims in North Korea. That number counts only those who are registered as Comfort Women victims, a tiny proportion of the total number of victims in Korea and across the world. The statues were exhibited for 8 hours and 14 minutes, starting at 8 o'clock in the morning. For the victims of Japan's wartime sexual slavery, liberation from Japan isn't complete yet. We're still heading towards it, and today's event was organized to take another step towards their liberation. It was a rainy day, but hundreds of citizens made their way to the plaza to sing along and call for resolutions between Korea and Japan on their Comfort Women Agreement and other ongoing controversies. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.